vinegar. It's not just for salads. Hello everyone, this is Medina from The Clarinet Life, and I want to share with you why vinegar is not only for salads. It is winter time here in the West Coast in the United States, and that means it's flu season. So, in order to make sure that we stay healthy, so we can make sure that we play all our gigs, teach all our students, we want to make sure that our equipment is clean, and I just want to talk specifically about the mouthpiece. This guy right here. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick tip here in the kitchen. You're going to need a glass. I prefer a clear glass so I could see through the liquid. Of course your mouthpiece, sands, a ligature and lead, and vinegar. So it's flu season, you know, everyone gets sick, and if you don't regularly clear your mouthpiece, now's a good time to do it. So, okay, so go. I'm going to take my reed off, take that off, take the ligature off, because I don't want to get to, that to get wet. Um, I don't need my cap. What I'm going to do is fill this glass with some vinegar. I like to start halfway through first. Well, that's a little more than half. That's okay. Essentially, you want to fill it to the point where it doesn't go past the cork because I don't I personally don't want vinegar on my cork but I definitely want to get it inside here so I'm gonna stick my mouthpiece in here okay and I'm gonna kind of like set it and forget it so maybe like five minutes I'll come back take a look at it and then I'll wipe it down if I see that there's still some grime or some calcium deposits or anything like that I'll just put it back in and wipe it down. So I'm gonna let that soak okay. for a bit. It's been a few minutes, so uh, I'm gonna take a look right now. So what you're gonna see is any kind of buildup. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's gonna come through. You can see it on the sides there. It's notorious for that. I'm notorious also for getting a lot of buildup here where the tip is. So um, we don't want our reed to close up, which is why we wanna clean out the grime. We also wanna, again, I talked about trying to stay healthy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off, but I'm first going to rinse a little bit out with water. Okay. Uh, did a little rinse, nothing hardcore. Um, so the next part, wiping off the grime, you could use maybe a Q-tip gently. Um, you can use a swab, which is what I like to use. And I also have paper towel. All right. So one of the things that I will say is you want to be careful with the tip. You don't want to uh, wear out the tip. So you want to be gentle, right? Our mouthpiece is very important. Uh, I would say probably one of the most important parts of, of our instrument. So you want to be really careful. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of dry the outside. That's where I use a paper towel. And I'm going to take my swab I'm gonna run it through the mouthpiece and when I run it through I want to kind of aim for the areas that I see any kind of build up and so I'm just gonna gently take out any kind of build up that I have sometimes if you use a mouthpiece patch which most of us do um, sometimes the glue uh, will start kind of coming out from the pressure on your teeth mouthpiece um, that happens obviously we, we have to replace our patches every every now and then but um, you know you might see some of that come out a little bit um, yeah so just be gentle swabbing it through this looks way better than what I had before and if you see any additional buildup all you gotta do is just put it back into um, your vinegar bath I guess vinegar soak and then just uh, redo the process um, let it dry out and yeah that's about it then you can go back and play all right see you guys later bye